Hello, community. Let's talk about use cases of ChatGPT or the paid version GPT-4. Now, today, almost every day, we have multiple new AI models that emerge that are just combination of known components. So I have now a little bit more time to think about practical use cases of artificial intelligence in our society I would like to focus your attention on. And as you can see on the picture today, we talk about human emotions. There's one prerequisite I would like to stay for me. AI is here to stay. So you do not switch off chat GPT or GPT-4 tomorrow and it's gone. My presumption is it is here to stay. There's no cherry picking, just looking at the good side of it. AI is here and it is part of our society and we have to cope with it. An example is Microsoft, if you read the marketing material, it is integrated in, in all of its product. And when a global player pushes this technology, it becomes part of the society. It is simply a new tool for us. And we humans, we use this new tool and we use it every day now. So today it happened that I discovered a new use case, analyze communication patterns. You know what happened? I was talking about how to call it misleading information in order to promote a particular agenda or viewpoint in social media in general. And ChatGPT is excellent at this task. And I ask here for key techniques to identify this misleading information, how you can build fences, filter in my own communication and how ChatGPT can provide assistance to this. And then happened that I wrote a comment and a viewer commented back. And I could sense that this comment was at first emotional, but there were so many different components in this comment that I said, strange, I need to ask a machine to analyze this comment. And there's no better machine on this planet to analyze human comment than ChatGPT. Because this poor machine had to read, let me oversimplify it, the whole internet, all the crap of human communication. So if something knows everything about human communication, it is ChatGPT. So this is exactly what I said, and you see the free version. Hey, ChatGPT, this is GPT 3.5 Turbo. I don't know the current extension. Please analyze this text for me for emotional triggers and sublime manipulation of the language. And then I just inserted here the comment of one of my viewers. And I was impressed by the analysis that GPT did immediately. You can see here, you don't have to read it, I just want to show you. It's quite a lengthy analysis. And I would like to show you just some highlights of this analysis that you can use chat GPT as an instrument whenever you get a comment from somebody and you feel unease, or you feel that is a non-neutral comment. Take ChatGPT, let ChatGPT analyze the content, and it makes life so much easier. Let's have here a look at my personal example. So the response by ChatGPT was, hey, this text contains element of emotional manipulation and some attempts to influence the reader. This is my opinion. The language is emotive and persuasive, attempting to sway me, my opinion, towards a specific viewpoint. There's one emotional trigger in play with the suggestion that I'm being manipulated by some propaganda and more or less I'm a fool. And this fear is intended to make me feel insecure and doubtful about my own beliefs. So interesting to see here the first emotional trigger, but there was also a second emotional trigger in the text of my viewer and suggesting that, or creating a sense of injustice and indignation in me, making me more likely to accept your arguments presented by this viewer. And then we have also additional subtle form of manipulation, such making claims without providing evidence to back them up, without any clear evidence to support it intended to make the reader, me, doubt the validity of any opposing argument. So it was fascinating to read this. And yes, there's a second part. 
and I also use some specific rhetoric to make false equivalence between two terms, suggesting any attempt to limit the power of the people is incompatible with a free society, which is simplistic and misleading argument that ignores the complexity of the political system that we have and about individual freedoms. So reading the analysis by ChatGPT of this comment opened up a world of insights to me what's going on, why I felt there was something strange with this comment, and now you have quite a lot of options. So you see a highly manipulative communication towards my person. So either you choose to not be emotionally connected to this at all, or you will provide this analysis back to the one who sent you this information. And you say, hey, I have the feeling you don't value my opinion. And I just want to give you here um, analysis of the way that you communicate with me. You can ask ChatGPT to generate an answer. Being different personalities, you can get two, three answers and see what fits to you personally. In any way, the use case of ChatGPT, the free version here, Whenever you are a YouTuber and you get comments that might affect you emotionally, and I talk this also to my people in my community in YouTube, if you're a creator, use ChatGPT, have it analyze for you whatever there is the content if you do not feel comfortable with this. And let ChatGPT analyze it, write a response, and do not get emotionally attached to it because you have no idea the problems the viewer has on the other side, what he is or she is going through, why he or she is acting in the way that they do. We're all humans. So chat GPT, a perfect use case for this. I would always say a chat GPT is an adequate tool to analyze human communication patterns if you receive some non-neutral statements. And if you want, this is the first positive use case of chat GPT. And if you're interested, tomorrow I present you another use case of ChatGPT. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.